Hey guys, welcome to the class. I hope your evening went well. Good evening. Uh, so today uh, we are going to discuss the fundamental unit line, the first chapter of grade nine. Now the focus of this session here that we are about to take is solely to administer you the chapters or the sections of the chapter specifically that are of focus in exams first of all and secondly the type of questions that can come what should be the weighted what are the procedures that you must follow in your exams so you can uh, earn a good 90 plus or even 100. hi kumar okay so let's go ahead and dig right into the chapter okay so before we start the chapter uh this is a short pardon me so this is a, a short breakup you know of the uh, entire chapters that uh, des describes the weightage of the each section so matter its nature and behavior that's chemistry okay so your chemistry teacher will tell you more about that particular section which is of 23 marks organization in the living world that's biology portion and this comes for 20 marks in your exams okay then motion force and work that's again physics so the physics teacher uh, the physics lecture that you'll have for that uh, he will be able to guide you more uh, appropriately for the same our environment is biology food and food production is biology so if you total that up 23 6 and 4 that's 30 okay so about 30 marks of the total paper out of 80 is there from the biology section okay now let's go ahead and dig into the chapter that we are about to discuss that is the fundamental unit of life oh i hope this uh, uh series helped you uh jess okay so cells so what should we first learn about cells in this chapter that is history how was the cell discovered yes they have the entire paper is of 80 okay so out of 80 the 30 marks has to be uh, dedicated to biology or comes from the biology chapters in the chapter cell first you should be aware about the history you should be aware about four scientists specifically robert Hooke, who was the first one to discover the cell second is schleden and Schoen. you know he gave the cell theory right and then Rodolf Virchow, what was the contribution of Rodolf Virchow? Who will uh, try to explain that? So he was the one who said cells arise from pre-existing ones, right? So he was the one who can uh, who could explain that cells cannot uh, be cooked up in the lab, rather they arise from pre-existing ones, right? After history, you should be able to discuss several characteristics of cells. Okay, like size. So cell varies in size, number, and shape. So the RBCs are uh, are present in huge numbers, right? 5.4 million per deciliter. Why, why is that? Because RBCs have to carry oxygen, which is a great uh, need for us, right? Number, sorry, number was RBC. Size can be neurons. Neurons are generally long. Uh, Schleden Schoen was uh, the one, they were the ones who gave the cell theory, uh, Pranav. They said two important points. Okay, first, cell is the structural and functional unit of life, and all organisms are made up of cells. So these two points must be in your mind. Sometimes questions can be very directly asked, what is cell theory, who gave it? Okay, so you should know about these two scientists and two points of cell theory. Rod Rodolf Virchow's point was added at a later point of time. Okay, okay. so size, number, and shape, you should be aware about with one example each. For number, you can take RBCs. For size, you can talk about WBCs which change their shape to exit the arteries and veins in order to perform immune functions, right? Shape, uh, that is there. And then uh, when you're talking about size, you can talk about neurons, which are uh, very uh, generally long. 
because they have to conduct impulses in long distances right next we should be talking about the boundaries the boundaries that a cell has so you can discuss two cell membrane and cell wall now very importantly you should be able to tell the difference cell membrane is present in all the cells right so you beat a plant cell or an animal cell or a eukaryotic or a prokaryotic cell it's present everywhere whereas cell wall is present only in plant cells in uh, fungi and in bacteria it's not present in animal cells very importantly you should uh, be knowing that yes chopra that's exactly correct is vacuole present in animal cells yes rena it is present but they are generally very small and many in number so the number is big the size is small on the contrary for uh, plant cells there is one single large vacuole okay now structure for structure you should be able to okay before structure let's discuss types so you can divide the cells on the basis of the nucleus so do they have nucleus or not if they have you can uh, talk eukaryote prokaryote eukaryotes do have a well developed nucleus that means they will have a nuclear membrane and the genetic material is inside the nucleus whereas prokaryotes do not have a nuclear membrane okay a uh, way to success they, they can be served uh several types of materials in the vacuoles of animals okay sometimes it, it's fat okay plant cells have cell wall ashweta because they have to tolerate lot of uh fluid environment right so they can't they don't want to burst out so cell wall provides extra rigidity to the plant cells now the origins on the basis of origin you can divide a cell into plant and animal we know plant cells have certain characteristics they are generally autotrophic whereas animal cells are heterotrophs right yes friend both our uh, cells may have vacuoles which okay thank you shivika uh, i couldn't read from the name that's why okay now the organelles that you must be aware of, uh, aware of are lysosomes mitochondria golgi plastids now guys what is important in these things for lysosomes it's the functions and the name that it has got that is suicidal bands okay so several times in exams you are directly asked such questions which organelle is named as the suicidal bag of the cell you should be able to say or answer that it's lysosome first point second why okay a why is always necessary so for mitochondria it's come on answer me for mitochondria what is the nickname that mitochondria has got got correct right powerhouse of the cell yes then we have golgi golgi are packaging and sorting centers of the cell plastids you have to remember a very important plastid that is a chloroplast okay right so uh, energy currency raghav don't get confused when we talk about energy currency that is the atp okay so remember that difference now when you're talking about the endoplasmic reticulum very importantly you must remember the differences between rer and ser right rer is rough endoplasmic reticulum it will have ribosomes now ribosomes are protein factories whereas ser smooth endoplasmic reticulum does not have ribosomes right our uh, ritesh function of mitochondria is to synthesize atps what is atp shreya atp is the energy currency so your body makes all the energy transactions in form of atp okay adenosine triphosphate that's the full form varun of atp and all the energy transactions if your if your body wants to spend energy it will use atp if it is getting energy some from something it will build atp no no ser makes uh, see endoplasmic reticulum smooth one will not have ribosomes it generally has a functions in pro, uh, uh, synthesis of several other biomolecules okay cool now uh, there are all molecules are uh, uh, yeah here yeah. okay now nucleus we know nucleus is the storehouse of the genetic material which carries chromosomes 
certain time people are largely confused between the names chromosome dna a gene okay so make sure that you have the distinction between these forms so the long threads of dna they are uh, condensed and found in the form of chromosomes whereas genes are hereditary units that code for a character okay so several times i have seen students in some of my classes in performing uh, during some of the tests that they mess the differences between these okay so make sure that you don't our uh, rather actually this is just to tell you what topics are important and what differences can often be asked in the exam so i'm not discussing them in detail rna dna um, shivika see dna is deoxyribose nucleic acid rna is ribonucleic acid the difference is first chemical then it has also certain consequences that you'll study in higher classes for example dna is more prone to mutation uh, sorry dna is less prone to mutation and rna is more prone to mutation okay now what are the topics that can come in the exam so uh, as i said name of the cell organs can straight away come they will simply ask you name the suicidal bags of the cell differences between animal and plants is very important uh, you can or you sh uh, you should be able to answer these questions difference between a prokaryote and a eukaryote and it is not just the nuclear membrane there are certain other differences as well okay so you should be able to enumerate them okay you might be as well asked to describe them using diagrams so you should also be able to do that now practical based questions can be asked from two experiments that are related to this chapter one is the onion peel and the second is raisin so onion peel peel is nothing but its cell morphology right you might be asked to draw what you observe in the uh, under the microscope you might also be asked about the uh, raisins now osmosis is related to the concentration so you should be knowing about osmosis exosmosis endosmosis okay and then the term hypertonic or hypotonic staining is needed when we use a stain it binds specifically to a component of the cell okay certain stains for example safranine they bind to the nucleus or the genetic material that helps us in determining the position of this nucleus in a cell okay so several stains we use so that they can effectively bound bind sorry to certain uh, parts of the cell and we can observe those in our day-to-day -day life uh, in our experiments okay why are lysosomes called societal bags nickel because lysosomes have uh, certain hydrolytic enzymes okay so these when the lysosome bursts open even the cell itself as a whole can be digested right so the cell commits suicide by activating the lysosomes to burst that is why it's called the societal bags now this these are several practice questions that is very important or that is that have been framed by the point of view that they are frequently asked in the examinations okay now who gave the cell theory who will answer this question for me the cell theory we already discussed it yes go ahead yes that's correct schleden and schwann now make uh, uh, make sure that while you are writing the names don't mess, mess up the spellings frankly no one is here to grade me but they are teachers to grade you okay now what are the tenets of cell theory that means the two points of cell theory okay that is cell is a structural and functional unit of life and the second is all organisms are made up of cells okay no uh dina cell wall is not present in all cells it's only present in plants in bacteria and fungi now what is the function of mitochondria we already discussed it it's uh, the main function of mitochondria is to generate energy or you can also write in form of atp okay a scientist inserted the compound from a bacteria in a plant cell now the plant cell also is able to make that compound what should be the chemical nature of the compound inserted now this is a tricky question now though they see 
what we have found through an, our analysis of the uh, you know papers is that certain times there might be a one marker or two marker question that is asked in a very tricky way this is one of them now we know that genes or dna is converted into rna and that goes to protein so basically we know that dna is responsible for manufacture of protein so a certain chemical a certain compound was inserted and the second cell is also able to make the same compound that can only happen if i transfer the dna from the original cell so the answer should be dna let's come to the next question now the these this this type of question will be very frequent in exams okay so you are placing a cell in solution and started shrinking now why will the uh, cell start shrink to shrink because there is a loss of water and why is there a loss of water because the concentration of water is more on the inside so the outer solution is hypertonic jatin see people make mistakes like these it's hypertonic right so the solution the water will flow from the inside to the outside okay now the shrinkage was, was caused because of placing the cell in a hypertonic solution and the term that you can use for the same is exosmosis okay so it's very important guys that you know these uh, small tricky things because they are often asked in such confusing manner what is cell made up of cell is made up of so many substances uh, dina we must describe the components in form of a cell boundary like cell membrane or cell wall then the protoplasm right and protoplasm in it has several things like dna a protein carbohydrates so you can't ask what is cell made up of because it's made up of too many things you can't singular out something now sam observed rdr under microscope and it looked rough what is the reason behind that now we know there are two types of endoplasmic reticulums ser and rer now rer is r the rough because of presence of ribosome which are protein factories so the reason that he found that it was rough because of ribosomes present on that uh neeraj see when i was talking about the shape of cells this is one example that you can use uh you know amoeba amoeba can also change its shape that is called let's say this is amoeba and here is the food material right in front of it so what it will do is amoeba will try to wrap itself around through uh or i should say by changing the shape of itself okay so it will try to wrap itself around this type of motion where it is eating something by changing the shape is called phagocytosis or endocytosis now raghav there is a difference between endocytosis phagocytosis and pinocytosis people often get confused between these terms when you say endocytosis that means taking inside if you are taking inside a solid material that's phago if you are taking inside a liquid material that's pino so i'm uh, so endocytosis can be phago or pino depending on whether you are taking the solid or the liquid part okay cool so far great now practical based question why is the okay before going to that dina has a question why is the plasma membrane called a selectively permeable membrane now let's dissect that term dina from back uh, or i should say from the hind part it's a membrane no doubt it's permeable but selectively that means it will select what can enter through or what can pass through the uh, it dina okay so if the membrane were freely permeable anything can get inside or out but if the membrane is selecting what shall enter inside and what shall not it's called selectively permeable okay and plasma membrane is one of that kind a cactus is a plant cell 
cactus has is a plant and it will have plant cells won't it so it has to contain the cell wall right area is rough endoplasmic reticulum cool now uh shweta well we're uh we're using english so that the entire of india if they're watching can understand it okay that is why we are not uh, we are avoiding to use hindi okay now this was a diagram a micrograph that was observed by after observing uh onion uh peel right so the question can be asked describe what you observe in an onion peel now you are not required to draw this fancy diagram but what you want or uh, what you should be able to draw is cells almost a bit rectangular in shape with a dark center this is what you should be able to draw and you should be able to name it as well plasma membrane cytoplasm and nucleus okay now here i am not naming cell wall because you cannot make out the difference between the cell wall and cell membrane by using the microscope that you people use okay that is why raghav i really want to explain but uh, we have a time constraint here and there are still stuff that i need to discuss so uh please come to a doubt a class uh, that we organize i will be more than happy to discuss these structures there in detail okay now uh some important things that you should be doing while you're answering the sheet now why is this important because people often know but they are not able to write well in the exams and that leads to less marks okay so these are certain tips that you must be following if you are when or when you are attempting the paper now wherever possible especially in this chapter you have diagrams so if they have asked you about mitochondria if they have asked you about uh, um golgi make sure you are able to draw a diagram so diagrams increase your readability flow charts increase your readability okay use examples where possible if they have asked you differences between uh dna and uh, sorry differences between a plant cell and animal cell make sure you have uh, given the examples of the uh the plant and animal cells eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells follow mark plus one scheme if if it's a two marker question make sure you have written three points now it's not three sentences it's three points if they have asked you um four marker no they won't ask you four marker if they ask you ask you differences make sure that you have drawn lines and you have explained the differences like these if it's two marker four points are needed if you can if they are not then obviously it won't be there and examples very important examples now many times people don't revise the paper once they are done so please revise it after you are done with the paper it will help you to identify the mistakes that you have made okay now so if you are able to do all of that maybe there there are very little chances that uh, will lead you to cut the, uh, lead the deduction of marks raghav ncrt is enough as long as you are understanding each and every process okay yes uh, prakash see diagrams flow chart always increase the readability of answer right so they are without a doubt uh, things that will help you in other exams cool no no uh, kavita i'm not saying you should study only from ncrt but you should study all the concepts that are there in the ncrt if you're done with that if you understand each and everything to the finest point then you don't need something else okay but if you're referring to something else it's always a good thing see uh, nikhil see what happens many students ask me sir which book do i prefer i never answer them this because if i am telling you uh, your book you will solely you know stick to that book don't do that follow as much as you can like your uh, you have the classes with meditation please go and search as much as you can there are a lot of things that you can learn without uh, books you know 
sees lignin and subatin these are all substances uh, that are present in the uh, you know cell wall uh, certain times to uh, help uh, certain things okay okay guys so that was it so uh, make sure to follow uh, subscribe our channel that will help you in doing a lot of more things see you in the next class yes you'll have some questions from our side as well bye guys hope you do well in your exams and make it rock solid bye bye